too. You know, fresh out of work. You know, I had to speak about this. <clears throat> but, you know, Western Power, Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm saying? I got a little champagne bottle. Not to celebrate the fact that he's gone, but to celebrate his life. You know what I'm saying? Him standing up for us as men, you know. You know, and, and his message truly affected everybody, even the negative people that got everything to say out of naysayers. His message ultimately affected everybody, you know. And so, you know, I'm just having a little drink for him, you know, out of respect. You know what I mean? And I just want to say, you know, to all the people that's been on some bullshit, basically being glad that he's dead, especially black women, this is my biggest thing. Why would y'all make yourselves public enemy, number one? I can understand white women, Mexican women saying something, but why would y'all make yourselves public enemy, number one, to all these men out here by celebrating, being glad about him getting on YouTube? And talking and speaking his opinion. He never came to y'all with his opinion. He always just decided to get up and speak about it on his own. You know what I mean? So why would y'all go out your way to be like, hey, it's karma. Hey, it's this. Especially on some of y'all's platforms. Like Vivica Fox talking about God don't like ugly. Karma comes back in all different ways. So you dying as karma because of you talking? And to all y'all women out there that's saying, oh, well, he never took our side. Never... Y'all got Wendy Williams. Y'all got Oprah Winfrey. Y'all got Steve Harvey. Y'all got The View. Y'all got all these shows where y'all give y'all's opinion. And what y'all say as women, y'all are right. He had to come on YouTube and create a platform. Oh, shit. That shit scared the hell out of me. a little bit for my man Kevin. Just a little bit. Drink the rest of that. But, yeah, y'all have all these platforms where a man can't be right at all and his opinion on how he is, you know, and how y'all feel about what a man does. Y'all have all these talk shows on the show. You know, hell, more he can't be taking women's side more than men. You know what I mean? It's like, what do y'all want? And you could call us simps, call us whatever. Because as a man, of course, I don't agree with everything that Kevin says. Hell, I got hair. You feel me? I got hair on my head. He swear if all, all of us should walk a dang fade or whatever. You feel me? I don't agree with everything he say. But damn, to be sitting there saying, dang, he's he de deserves to be dead and karma guy dang came back on him. It's straight ridiculous. You know what I mean? And it's like, all, you know, I'm focusing on the black woman because it's like, that's who I love. That's who I'm, I'm with. And it's like, y'all, there's a lot of black, there's a lot of black women that was touched by him and, and loved him, even though they didn't know him personally. And I'm not going to judge black women as a whole because a lot of y'all that's got hate in your heart towards him don't, aren't the reflection of the women I deal with. The black women I deal with, their love and their caring, their feminine, everything that... Kevin Sanger says, and I'm by no means a high value man, and not at this point. But I know what I want, and I know what I'm looking for. He helped open my eyes, and I understand that I got to strive to what I'm looking for, whether it's relationships, whether it's a job, whatever. He opened my eyes up as a man. You know what I mean? A lot of this stuff, yeah, I should have already known, and I did know. But to hear him reiterate, reiterate it and say it the way he said it, you know what I mean? He was giving tough love on there. All them videos he said about telling us men what we need to do this, what we need to do that. I opened my ears and heard him. You know what I mean? And it's ridiculous for some of y'all to get on this internet and say the stuff that y'all say and be glad. Didn't say nothing while he was alive. Sat back. But the moment he died, you jumped for joy as if it was a parade. As if it was something to be happy about. It's something to be happy that somebody on YouTube can't speak no more because he's passed away. That's something to be happy about. A guy ultimately on YouTube just speaking his opinion. That's it. That is it. I don't know why y'all want to 
decided to get out there and do that and speak the way you did, you know, from what I've seen, you know, he, he, like I said, ain't nobody out here perfect. But, you know, all this, all this stuff that he's done in the community where he's grabbed young fellas together and brought them together and tried to show them the way, all the different type of stuff. His job was literally interacting with people. Without people, what was his calling? He literally, his job was literally to interact with people, touch people, whether it was in a good way or bad way, and give tough love. I can tell you now, I got family members that I don't work with and stuff that's my elder that done said way worse stuff to me than anything Kevin Samuels has said to these women on here. He's literally he's literally just having conversations with people, that's it. And people are literally jumping on here saying, Damn, I'm glad he's dead. But like I said, I'm not celebrating because he's gone. I'm celebrating his life. Because he said meaningful shit. And he was on his purpose. And he was on the grind. Even at what, 52, 54, whatever age he died? He was on his damn grind. Period. Did not stop. Always traveling. Always getting to something. Always linking up. Always communicating. Always speaking. Rarely missed days with his uh, on YouTube when he was supposed to get on. On IG Live when he was supposed to get on. You know what I mean? This man has a mother. This man has a, a child. You know, a family. And people are out here happy that, he, that he's gone. As if... You know, and then it's like these other YouTubes are saying, oh, it's... Uh, finding out his his mama found out he was a player on on the internet. His his family found out who he really was through the internet. Man, they know Kevin. Kevin, you don't think Kevin's? They don't know who Kevin is. They're his family. They know how he is. They know what type of person he is. Like it's just some some of the most ridiculous stuff that people have been saying on the internet. You know what I mean? And all these people that are telling that saying his lawyer shouldn't be telling people to his lawyer should be on people's ass. His lawyer should be standing up for them. All these people in the comments saying, Oh, Kevin wouldn't well, want you to do this, blah blah blah. Nah, the lawyer needs to keep standing up for him, keep fighting, and keep getting these people's pages taken down so they can't profit off this man's death. He's doing the right thing. You talk you could talk all that shit while I'm here. And Kevin will get your page taken down. But when I'm but when he's gone, oh everybody supposed to lay down and bend over and let y'all keep talking shit. Fuck that. No. That ain't how shit work. That is not how shit work. You know, I ain't never met him in my life. I would have liked to meet him, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like he my idol. But I mean it's just like meeting, you know what I'm saying? It's just like me, it's meeting any successful black person. It motivates you to realize, you know, hey, I can do it too. You know what I mean? I appreciate everybody that's out there speaking their testimony and putting their appreciation out there and talking because right now the internet is flooded with bullshit and propaganda and he was this and he was that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like people sat there and prayed for this day. There's women, men, whoever that prayed for this man to die over a bull to, bullshit ass YouTube channel. Sad, man. It's so sad. Rest in power, Kevin. Rest in power. 24 years old, about to be 25, man. You motivated me. You motivated. You've motivated me in different ways that other people couldn't, because I needed to hear that. There's a specific video where you were coming. You were coming at us, niggas. Coming at us, man. You were on our ass that night, because you're sick of the shit we do. Yeah, most of your program you was getting on women's ass. Yeah, because you're an advocate for men. Because you know there's good men out there like myself. I have flaws, but there were several shows where he got on there and just said stuff that, you know, my own family hasn't told me. Yeah, of course, it's the basic be a gentleman, treat people the way you want to be treated. But it's like to get down into the 
to get down into the nitty gritty of it, Kevin really broke it down and gave me a lot of tips that I've applied, especially going out as far as dating with a purpose, making sure a woman, when she dates with you, let her remember you being experienced to a woman. Stuff don't go your way. Still try to, you know, do right. You know, try to stand out, be, be different than everybody else. You know, be remembered for something good. You know, when you're in a relationship, you know what I'm saying, do right by somebody. Don't be dogging somebody out. Don't be wasting your time. Don't be wasting people's time. Don't be playing with people's life. That's the message I got from them. Because I've done a lot of t playing with people's life, leading people on blocks. But I had to wake up and say, yo, what am I out here really doing? This shit is pointless. When I could be, instead of me having four or five people that I don't want to be with, but I just lusting over, why don't I go out here and search for somebody that I'm really, truly, truly trying to have something with? <sighs> Shit's sad, man. I drank this bottle right here. You know, like I said, to celebrate his life. I'd never, I'd never want my mama to have to go through that. People celebrating the fact that I'm gone. People celebrating the fact that I'm dead. People to cele people celebrating the fact that I struggled, came up, created a platform, said stuff that people don't like, and now the moment that I can't speak again, people are jumping for joy. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody threw a party out there. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody threw a party over this. Like, yay, he's going, yay, he's going. Well, ultimately, you go on this show and you make yourself look like a fool. That's on you. Sad, man. And it's all these people that's, gonna, that's out here trying to take, take his place. And it's like, shoot, be on the grind. Grow your channel. But ain't nobody going to be able to take the Godfather's place, period. Ain't nobody going to be able to speak for us like him. Ain't nobody's going to be professional. Ain't nobody that's going to goddamn not address the naysayers all the time in the comment section and this and that. And every time somebody says, that's another thing, he was mature. He's not in the comment section all the time listening to the bullshit and the trolls. He's not always out here, oh, this other YouTube's beefing with me. YouTube is beefing with me, so let me address this and let me say this and let me say that. He's not doing all of that. He was on his purpose, worried about his message. And that's what a lot of people don't realize is sometimes the best response is no response because no response is a response, believe it or not. No response is a response. You know. But, you know, road to 50 subscribers, you know, so I can start going live, so I can start preaching what, what I'm going through. Like I said, this is reality with rap. This is my reality. All I'm going to do on this YouTube is show you the ups and downs the fights and the triumphs, the obstacles that I'm going through. I'm trying to grow my channel. And you know, maybe somebody can learn from me. But as far as the Godfather, man, the way he came in the room, the way he came in the building, boy, that's not going to be to be imitated. Boy, that's not going to be to be imitated at all. That's not gonna be able to get be imitated, but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get out of here. This reality wop, like I said, you know, like, subscribe, comment. You know, I'm just trying to grow my channel, move forward. Like I said, you know, as men, we got to keep our head high and move forward. Doesn't matter how big the obstacle is in front of us.
we got to try to do something, man. And that's all I can do out here. Just try and try and try. Keep going and going and going. RP to the Godfather. Rest in power.